Okay, uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to show a few things. Uh, first, uh, how I'm going to make the nutrient for the miniature cantaloupe that I'm growing right now. Uh, once it got to a certain size, I started doing uh, a certain ratio of nutrient from the General Hydroponics Flora Series. Uh, first, what I'm going to start off with is the General Hydroponics Cali Mag. Uh, and I'll use one milliliter of that per gallon. I'll put that in. A little shake. The next one you add is the micro, floral micro. Uh, that one I'm going to use four milliliters per gallon. Next we're going to add our Flora Bloom uh, at 6 milliliters per gallon. And last but not least, Flora Grow at 2 milliliters per gallon. The nutrients are ready. Uh, let's go check out the plant now. Here's the grow tent for what right now I have in it is the miniature Minnesota Midget Cantaloupe. Let's open this up all the way. Got a time lapse going with my DSLR on the development of my melon. Things uh, looking pretty good now. That's uh, something I'm going to be doing now. It's uh, basically changing out the nutrient container. It's found it's easier to just kind of lift the roots out and put them in uh, another container the same size that I've already cleaned out and put some fresh nutrients in there. Kind of hard to get the right angles in here, but I'll try my best. So it's uh, about a one and a half gallon container, and I really want to make this video to show that uh, using a crack key technique, no aeration or recirculating pump, it's possible to grow a nice big cantaloupe plant. In a tiny container, you just use a, maybe a little bit more concentrated nutrient, uh, and, and you can get some good fruit out of it. You see these vines are going all over the place. Uh, this leaf is, this bottom leaves kind of wither out on me eventually and die, but you see these, these new little shoots coming up out of here, so I'll just take these off and they'll make it easier to see what I'm doing. So we have our uh, cleaned out container here. And I'm just gonna fill this one up about almost halfway full with the nutrients that I just mixed up. Pretty sure that the nutrients are gonna be just about right, but just in case, uh, or I just want to know, just for the sake of knowing, what, what kind of uh, EC level I'm dealing with here. So I'm going to check that real quick, and then press the hold button. It's 
that's about 1.156 EC. It's not kind of on the low side, but this plant seems to do just fine with it. And now the kind of kind of tricky part, we gotta lift the roots out of that container and put them into this fresh one. So we're gonna try to do this. I'll let you guys have a good view. Also being careful with the plant. So I'm gonna move this our fresh container down here behind it. And we're gonna be very gentle with these roots. Delicate, full roots. It's a lot of roots. I'm just gonna switch them over. Gently put them in. A fresh nutrient solution. And that's a pretty quick and easy water change. Let's just check what kind of level we're dealing with in the old nutrient. It's about half of what was in the fresh uh, 0.604 EC. And uh, it may be out of balance. It might have used up all the nitrogen and could use some more nitrogen like I have in the new batch. Uh, just kind of good to change it once in a while. You can see my lights. 45 watt LED panels. Uh, compact fluorescence, I think those are 36 watts each with the reflectors LED bulb right in the middle this is a 12 watt I think it's a 5000 K yeah 5000 one last thing before I wrap this video up here of the cantaloupes uh, Obviously being indoors in a grow tent, these things aren't going to pollinate themselves. So you have to learn what the male flowers look like versus the female flowers and where to put the pollen. So, you can see here we have lots and lots of male flowers. Uh, usually the ratio is like 10 or 20 to 1. Uh, and you won't get female flowers until the, the plant's really ready. Uh, down in here you can see male flower there we go uh, just kinda has a small base to it female flower has this extra bump uh, this is this part right here it's the bump I'm talking about this part up here male flowers have that that section or they look like that but they don't have this extra bump this is the part that would develop into the fruit. So what we need to do is, what I do is use a little paintbrush tip, a very fine one. I get pollen from male flowers like this. They've got to be nice and open. You collect as much pollen as you can on the tip of that. And don't be afraid to rough up these male flowers while getting it because they only last a day or two anyways. see we got some some yellow pollen on the tip of this brush and what I do is uh, it's gonna be hard to show you guys this but down in here in the female there's a spot right in the smack in the center of these flowers that you kind of need to rub that brush up against it's kind of hard to do it with the camera in one hand but give it a shot here 
So I'll do that and basically go to every single male flower on this plant that's open right now. Get some pollen. Come back to the female flower. Lightly rub it in the center. Get some pollen from another male flower. Come back to the female. Rub it in the center. And so on. Just keep going around the male flowers. And go back to your female flower. Put that pollen in there. And if it's successful, you'll know probably within two to three days uh, the little bump on the hind end of the flower. This bump right down here will start to swell up. Before you know it, you'll have a nice fruit. This one is going on um, seven or eight days since I pollinated it. I mean, they grow extremely fast. So, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video.